Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are now installing the Grimspeed intercooler piping, the silicon piping. Um, it's, yeah, the only reason I'm replacing the ones that I've got is because they're, best way to put it, they're fucked. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a review slash install and how-to video. So here we have the Grimspeed intercooler piping, you get the main intercooler pipe, two clamps for that, then you get the throttle body, very well made silicon, I went black because that looks better, you get the clamps, and personally packed for you by Cody, cheers Cody, um, you get a little card, you get a sticker, um, yeah, you get a sticker, and yeah, so the best way to put it, the tools you need are a flathead screwdriver slash, I think it's 8mm sock spanner. Um, you need, the f first step, first step of them all is you remove these. I've got to remove that because it's a boost line. You remove that, remove that, remove that. Or you can remove them. If you remove them, it's just easier. You don't have to worry about moving that. And it gets that out of the way. Uh, remove the two. I'll do it more detailed how to. So, okay, bear with me, guys. And I'll get this ball rolling and we'll see how we go from there. So, first step remove these. Remove that. I'll just crack them first. Then we remove this. This is a good time to actually clean your throttle body at the same time. Then you remove them. Then we've got to remove that and that. Or you can remove the reset hose, which is a pain in the ass. So I just remove that and that and make sure you don't damage the gasket. Or you're in for a bad day. After removing the blower valve, that's the gasket. It's in okay condition, it's not leaking, so that's a good. So that just pulls it away from there. I've removed those two bolts and that bolt. Time to remove the hose clamp. So you remove that one, that one, the one down there, that's the hose that's rooted. And everything should come loose after that. Oh, and you gotta remove the trumpet if you've got one of these. Which the trumpet, yeah. So we'll get cracking back into that and we'll try and we'll get these hose clamps undone. After that, that is an outright mission. I need to get a catch can for this thing. So, guys, <sighs> that was a mission. Just one of these pipes here just didn't want to come off. If you want to bleed your clutch, do it now. If you want to change your gearbox oil, you're better off doing it now. Or even change your starting motor. Do it now. Or change your PCV valve. Do it now while this is off. It's there. We'll take it over to the bench. And we'll start fitting these new hoses. Heads up. Use brake and parts cleaner to clean this. And clean the turbo before fitting the new pipes. And clean, wipe out the throttle body and so forth. You will use throttle body cleaner. Just to make sure that it's 100% clean when you fit it all up. You will find oil in there. I've got barely any actually. And there. Oh god, I really need to clean that out. Um, you will find it in the intercooler, as you can see. Because that's what the PCV system does. That's why we put catch cans on these cars. That's what's the next thing on the thing. And another thing. Replace that while you're here. Why not? I'm not, because I don't have don't have the part. Or even change your turbo while you're here. You can do either. So, take this over the bench and go from there and see where we go from here. So, yeah, we'll install these new pipes, clean it all up, give it a good wipe down and go from there. Okay, we've got it on the bench. That is why, <laughs> Jesus, is why I was changing the pipe. I don't know what brand this pipe is. There is oil in it. it hasn't been cleaned since I've had the car. As you can see, oil. 
So what you do, you wipe down all the flanges of breaking parts cleaner, wipe down the hole, just clean the intercooler. Or even better yet, there's a trick you can do is actually fill it with fuel. Let it sit until it's clean, like flush, obviously flush it. And then once it's fully flushed, once it's fully flushed, then you put it back on or let it dry overnight. I don't know what the deal is there. No idea. I think this could be a factory STI hose. I think it may be. The good thing about the Grimspeed one is if I can clean this up, or if I can get the camera to zoom, I can't. You'll see in here, there's two layers of material, like two layers, that's it. And you compare it to the Grimspeed one, which is over here, you have a hell of a lot more material in there. So the hose is a stronger piece. So you actually look half decent. So we're going to get this cleaned up, clean all the crap, and clean the fitting, or clean the turbo and the throttle body. And we'll get back to it and we'll get back to installing the hoses. Okay, now installing the Grimspeed hoses. Let's better get the clamps. Yeah, that's the right clamp. Yeah. What you want to do is make sure the bolt, this part here, is facing. God, excuse me, camera skills, Jesus. Ah, like it. But since these are a tight fit, it's a bit hard trying to do it one handed. Let's try it. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. And you get the clamp and you clamp your clamp your way. Get the clamp, clamp that on. What I'll do, I'm gonna actually, I'll put this all together, put all the clamps on, then I'll show you the finished product, what it should look like. And the best way to put the intercooler back on without giving you a hell of a lot of trouble, which it will, Best way to put it, you gotta put it down this end first, or line that up, line that up roughly, then you slide that one on, then it should all hunky dory go down without a hassle. I will be upgrading to a front mount once the turd's got a bigger motor or built motor. Excuse the mess, it's been a bit of a shit fight lately. But yeah, that's the difference. That's how bad this thing was. I don't even know how I let, how I let it go for so long. Yeah, been. So, we'll get into it. I'll get this stuff fitted and tightened up and we'll go from there. And that's what it should like at the end of the day. Sorry about the lighting. It is like, oh, what time is it? I think it's about 5, 5.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, if not earlier. Couldn't sleep, so why not? I'll just do this. The bedroom. My partner's on the other end of the bloody house, and my son's still asleep, so peace and quiet. When you got a three year old, they run around like batshit crazy. So, yeah, always have a good old Grimspeed logo aiming up, and so forth. Um, this one might need a bit of tweaking here and there to get it to fit right. Always clean, always clean the throttle body. I'll show you. you always got to clean, clean all around there on the outside and all around there with like an alcohol wipe even. I have, uh, oh, what is it, anti-static wipes from a spray paint as well, like a box of the stuff and it's great for cleaning grease and it like, will clean that, that is like smooth. The reason you find oil in your turbo is because the PCV valve, which is somewhere down there in the back of the throttle body, then it goes into the intake and then it sucks in oil and then it comes in here and then fills your intercooler with oil and equals ping in, then a dirty great big hole in your piston and then a rebuild and then credit card debt and so forth. So, get a catch can. I'll be doing that next. 
I could do that now. After seeing how much oil was in the intercooler, which it wasn't really that much, to be honest. For an old bug eye, she does all right. So, yeah, we'll get to installing it, and we'll go from there. Just screwing this back on. Little trick. Don't have it tighten it. Ah, that was a fucking nightmare. Okay, these are a bitch to get on. As you can see, that's got to go. Going to go the cob or the Grimsweed one. Got to get rid of that intake. I don't know what the hell that does. But yeah, if you're going to get these, clean the surfaces so they grip. And once they grip, I'm just going to check if they're tight. Yep, tight. Tight. Somewhere down there. Tight. And there you go. That there is the Grimspeed inner cooler piping kit. I picked it up off, I think it was Car Mods Australia. Hang on, I'll turn this camera. Picked it off, picked it up off Car Mods Australia. Um, it's, best way to put it, I paid, was it, 139 Australian dollars. Um, better than the standard shit. The standard shit was pretty much done for, especially when you're running upwards of 22, 23 PSI boost, it ends up looking like that. And that's the intercooler pipe, I don't know how old that is, but this is the throttle body one. That's mudded. So they're off for the bin. So I hope you guys liked the video. Um, We'll be doing more. Um, I'm going to try and, since lockdown is now slowed down and gone, it's, um, I'll be able to do more driving videos. So, yeah. Um, remember guys, like, subscribe, follow my Instagram, uh, jmedia underscore 88. I'll try and leave a link in the description if I can work out how to do it. But, this is Streetcar Media and hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.